Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today I'm going to teach you just the very basics of how to do forestry. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to another guide or tutorial video by Farmer Cop. So today, again, just the basics of forestry. If you are a forestry pro, you're probably not going to learn anything from this. If you know nothing about forestry, you will probably learn something from this. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you the best way to do forestry. I might tell you how I like to do it, but I'm not going to tell you the best way. I recommend just taking all the different ways into account and kind of playing with all of them and seeing which one works best for you. And sometimes it might be just kind of the level of your farm as far as where you're at financially, if you can afford to do a different way or not. But, um, what I'm going to talk about today as well applies to trees that are already existing on a map or trees you plant. The trees in front of us right now are trees that have been planted. So this, these are saplings. This is right after you plant them. This is what they look like um, right here. This is a the first growth stage, second, third, fourth. Yep, they're getting taller. Fifth and sixth. Now you can harvest them essentially, really honestly, at any time. Um, I believe you can even harvest them at this state if you wanted to um, using a chainsaw or any other device. Nope, you can't. So they have to wait until they release this one. So there you go. Once they're at this growth stage, though, you can harvest them with either a tree harvester or any form of cutter or a chainsaw. And we'll talk about all that in a little bit. Once you get to this point, you can get four eight meter logs out of this. And I'll show you why that matters in a bit. Um, but yeah, these are the different growth states. So we're going to talk about that. Now there are trees, usually on this map, this is no man's land, but I have them all gone, but you, this works on any trees in game uh, for the most part, preferably straight trees. There's some odd shaped trees that you can still cut down, but maybe not with a forestry harvester. You might have to use a chainsaw for, but uh, again, this is just the basics is to cover some, a few things. Um, if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them down in the comments, but I may not be able to solve all of your issues with forestry. I am definitely not a forestry expert. So we're going to kind of divide this up into stages as I normally do. So stage one, is going to be planting there is no field prep in this it doesn't matter you can i planted those trees in a field you don't have to you can plant them on the grass or anywhere really and i'll demonstrate that in a second so stage one is going to be planting and this is the the only thing in game and again we're talking about in-game equipment no mods nothing like that this is the tree planter this also works if you watch my video on poplars which i released last week and is linked down in the description this also works on that so this is what you'd use to plant poplars or to plant trees or saplings. So that's what you need to be aware of. Um, yeah, so you can't, or, or you can hire workers to, to plant saplings. However, they won't be a nice neat rows like that. You can only do it in a field and it'll plant them kind of like if you remember in the poplar video, which I would go watch that, it'll plant them in rows similar to that. So similar to rows of poplars, it'll plant rows of trees. You also can only, if we go back over here real quick, so the distance between these two trees or each of these trees that is planted is, is set by the planter. This will automatically plant them in these distances apart. So that tree to there will be the same. The only way to change that is if you play with seasons turned on, which is a mod, then if you play with seasons on, you can adjust how far in between each tree that you plant. Also note, if I'm driving over to these, there is no collision if I run into this tree or this tree. But the moment I get to this one, there's a collision. As you see, we ran into that. Crop destruction does not work. You cannot destroy these with crop destruction on or off. It does not matter. You can drive over these two guys and nothing will ever happen. And these ones again are like any other tree in game. You will crash into them. They, you will be able to hit them. So that's just something to think about as far as that goes. So after the trees are planted, there's no field care or anything like that. It's just field care is the, or excuse me, planting is the is stage one. And after you get planting done, it jumps right into harvesting, which we're going to talk about in just a second. So still on stage one, planting, how to use this tree harvester. So you buy saplings in the store, which I'll show you that real quick. So we go into the store over here to objects, go into pallets. Here is a pallet of saplings for $1,000. It will plant 20 total trees, which that's a bargain. You make a boatload of money doing forestry if you get good at it, especially if you're pretty efficient. Um, poplar saplings are right here. We'll talk again. I talked about all of those in my previous video. And if you remember how to use one of these from my previous video, this part won't really apply to you. Again, if you're next to it, if we turn on the help menu, it will hit, or you can see up there at the top left hand corner, it says R for refill tree planter. So we've refilled it. 
Now, if we want to use it, we need to turn it on. Now we just hit V to lower it. And there you have it. Now, in this tree planter, you can use to create fields if you are planting poplars. You cannot create fields if you're planting trees. However, you can still plant this. And this is without doing anything. I'm not adjusting anything. If I just come right over here and start planting again, it will begin planting trees out of the way, off the off of the, the field here. So you can plant these wherever you want. Now, if you wanted to plant them on this dirt road, you can also do that. So that's definitely a possibility for you. So just like that, you're planting the dirt road. It doesn't care what uh, terrain you're planting on. So see, I'm planting them now on this concrete area here. So it does not care. So just be aware of that. Um, you're not going to not plant them just because of that. Now, again, like some stuff that's in game, like roads that are built in and stuff like that, I haven't tested on every single surface to see what it's going to plant on, what it's not. I just don't have the ability to do that. So that is everything about how to use this. So we are going to move into, now we're going to move into stage two. Well, actually, before we go into stage two, Let's talk about where to get this guy in the store. And by the way, I'm using the same tractor. It's just any tractor will work essentially. But if we go into tools, we go to forestry equipment. Here is the Damcon PL75, which is $26,000. Only needs 120 horsepower to run. Uh, you might need a front right if you're using a smaller tractor, but there you have it. That's what you need to plant trees with. So stage two is already harvesting or cutting, depending on how you want to look at it. So... Um, the first method of harvesting is not here. It's a chainsaw. So I just, I'm using the scroll button on the mouse. I'm the center button on the mouse. I'm scrolling up or down to bring out the chainsaw. So, and I'll demonstrate how to use the chainsaw in a second as well. Um, so chainsaw is the cheapest way. If we go into the store here, um, you're able to go down here to chainsaws. They all do the same thing. It just is a preference. They're all the same cost to you. So there's that option. The second cheapest option is if you use a cutter like this one that's on a tractor. So if we go over here, we can open up the help menu. We can lower it by hitting V. We can raise it by hitting V. We can turn it on by hitting B as in boy. Lower it is V as in Victor. And then we can adjust it if we hold down the mouse button. So we can do different angles, different stuff like that. Um, if we hold the right mouse button down, that's us opening and closing it. Um, and I'll demonstrate this as well, cutting down a tree um, in a little bit here. So this inside the store is under, again, tools, forestry equipment. It's this guy right here. It's only $5,400. It's tractor mounted. I have honestly never really used it in game. Um, the only time I've really ever used it is going to be in this tutorial. So um, just be aware of that. The next option for cutting down trees is a tree harvester. Oops, well, we're not in the tree harvester, which is this guy right here. There are several options in game. Um, this isn't like my preference or anything like that. It just, it just is an option. So this is by far, I think, the best way. However, it's the most expensive way, as you can imagine, by it being an independent piece of machinery. So if we hop into here, this is what's going to harvest the tree. So if we turn on the help menu there, B as in boy is going to turn it on. Then you have left mouse button is going to move this guy from side to side and move the tree harvester out and back in. And again, this guy can go pretty far out away from where you're at. And depending on which one, it might go farther. And then if we hold down both, the right and left mouse button, it will tilt that as such. Holding down just the right mouse button will lift this up and down. So it kind of gives you a pretty good range of motion. Now, once you get up to a tree, I'll demonstrate how to cut it in a second, but in the store to find this, you're gonna go this time under vehicles, under forestry machines, and it's gonna be further down here. So this is the one I have out. There is a cheaper one in game, um, and there's a more expensive one. So there's three options in here, and by the cost, even if you lease this one, you're looking at a $14,000 initial leasing cost and 5,700 bucks an hour. So a lot of people are like, well, how can I even make any money doing forestry? I guarantee if you're using this thing as it's designed to, you will make money doing forestry. Guarantee it. Forestry is very, very profitable. So just be aware of that. It's probably one of the most profitable aspects of the game, but it is more complicated. It does take time to get used to this kind of machinery. Um, I recommend um, practicing on it for a while. I mean, you just have to get good at it. Don't get frustrated right away. I recommend just using it. After an hour or so, you start to get the hang of what you're doing and it gets easier to use. So as far as stage two goes, I'm gonna get these guys set up to demonstrate how these work and then we're also gonna demonstrate the chainsaw. So give me one second to get that set up and I'll bring you back in. All right, so first things first, we're gonna use the chainsaw. So again, I'm using the mouse scroll button. Um, so if you look up in the upper left-hand corner when I have nothing in my hand, it says previous hand tool, next hand tool, it's a center mouse button. That's what I'm talking about to get this guy out. So it's on, holding left click activates it, holding right click rotates it. So you can hit right, hold down the right mouse button and move it from side to side. And this is how all the chainsaws work. So if I go up to this tree and I wanted to cut it, 
when I start to rotate it, it gives me that circle there. So if it's blue, that means you're not in a position to cut it. Let me see if I can't get it in a spot where I can show you a blue indicator. Sometimes if you're just close enough, it's not gonna work. But um, if you get a blue indicator, yep, like there, that one right there, I can't cut that. It's too far away, I'm holding on the left mouse button. But if I get closer, I can cut it. So you can cut it however which way you want and then you can cut it down into pieces to move around or you can just chop it down and chop it into a few pieces and then move it around with equipment which we'll talk about how to move stuff in a little bit. So I come up here, get a green indicator. I just hold, I'm holding the left mouse button until it's done and it'll let me know when it's done. There, it's done. Sometimes you will get these weird little chunks that'll come off. Um, those can still be wood chipped um, and stuff like that but uh, just be aware of that. Then to delimb this tree, you just hold down left mouse button and walk along it. You also can go like this if for whatever reason it's in a weird spot and just kind of spam the left mouse button. The top will usually disappear if you cut it off. Oh, that one of course did not do that. So like there, okay. Um, so you then could cut this into multiple small pieces or try to lift it and deal with it as this piece. Um, in general, when selling logs to the lumber mill, the longer and straighter the log, the better. The longer and straighter, the more money you get for it up to a certain point. I don't know what that exact point is. I'm not an expert. Um, again, I'm just teaching you kind of just the basics. So if we hop in here, again, we are going to hit B to turn the saw on. We're gonna lower it down. I'm just using the mouse button. You can hit V or whatever else you wanna do. So if we get up to here, we're just, I might have to angle it up a little bit. So I'm just driving into it. I'm not doing anything or hitting any button. So I was just driving like as hard into it and it said it was actively cutting. So it cuts it down. Then again, you're probably gonna wanna use a chainsaw because you could sell it with all the junk on there. It's just hard to manipulate it because this stuff is kind of in the way. So you're probably still gonna need a chainsaw. So you can kind of walk up and down it again. And you could cut this into smaller pieces if you wanted. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. That's another way to do it. Now, by far the best way to do it, we'll hop into here. We'll hit B as in boy to turn it on. And I'm going to just come to the side of it because this is how I normally do it. I'll bring that over, back up a little bit maybe. So, back up and... Get us in a spot. So now once you get in a spot where it's good to cut, on the upper left-hand corner it'll hit. You'll see X for cut up there, but if I back away, there's no X for cut. So once you get close enough, then I just hit the X button once. It traps it. I recommend lifting and backing up because it'll get the tree to kind of fall. And then I usually try to get these into neat stacks or as neat as possible. So right now, as it is, I just got it from the store. Up there in the upper left-hand corner, you see X again for cut. So if I hit X to cut, that's a one meter log. So if I go into the cab here, down there, do you see the 100 on that screen? This is not, actually it is on this help menu. So some of them, depending on what you're running, it won't show up on the help menu or not, but it says change cut length and it says one meter there. So two. For if I hit Y, it changes it to two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then back down to one. So we're gonna go to eight here for a second, which is what I recommend doing, um, just cause you're gonna get the most money for eight meter logs. Um, well, as far as what you're gonna be able to cut with this machine. Um, there are purposes for the other ones. If you have a shorter trailer where you're not gonna be able to fit eight meter logs in it, then again, you adjust as needed. So don't just be cutting a bunch of eight meter logs and then realize you have a super short trailer. So these are all things that you kind of have to keep account of and that's why I recommend just kind of experimenting testing trying different things and that's why I'm never going to be able to cover everything you need to know there's just too many different ways to do this in game and everyone has their own way they like to do it so if you don't see that on your help menu because maybe you have auto drive on and auto drive is taking up all the space in your help menu I have that issue uh, right now um, then you come into the cab and you should be able to see that on the screen it'll be the one that has you know a solid 100 200 or whatever on it so if we get back out and then the next actually before i note that the next view is you have is one of the header i hate this view i'm going to be completely honest i never use it then there's one outside so cab header view and then outside as normal so now that i have it set to eight meter lengths i hit x again to cut if you do want to for whatever reason you want to drop this tree where it's at, you just hit B and that turns it off and it drops the tree. I've done that multiple times on accident. So as you see here, we're just kind of stacking some eight meter logs. Now, other than the one meter chunk I cut off, you would normally get four eight meter chunks out of the one of these trees here. So, um, and it kind of ended a little weird there just because I think it was just the way it worked out. But uh, normally it actually cuts a little bit better than that. But uh, Regardless, so then you could keep kind of working your way down this line of trees, getting a big stack of eight meter logs here and then deal with them that way. So let me get this guy out of the way here and then I'll bring you guys back in for stage three.
Stage three is transport and handling. So this one has probably the most different ways to do it and the most different, there's so many options. I'll just say there's so many different options in game. So um, if you wanted to pick logs up off the ground, you could use a trailer like this where you can actually get into the back here and you operate this. So if we turn on the help menu again, left mouse button moves it out and around like that. You can swing side to side. Again, I'll let you guys play with that. That opens and closes, moves up and down. There's so many different functions, so you could pick logs up and then load them in this way. I don't prefer this at all. Um, this next piece of machinery is very similar, except it's an all-in-one, where from inside the cab here, you can move this stuff. And also, notice up in the left-hand corner, um, left control and B will change the direction. So that, in real life, would help you be able to work with it from this side. So if I go into cab, I'm doing it from here. And then if I change the driving direction again, I go back to kind of the driving or normal. So we'll get back out to here. And this also has a view on the crane and then a view back outside. So in cab, crane view and outside. So this again, just like the trailer I showed you, this is like a more expensive version where you can go out and actually pick it up. This next option is just a semi trailer. And again, you can hook this up with a dolly as well. Um, and you could load logs in here. So you could obviously get really long logs in here if you wanted, or you could probably do two stacks of eight meter logs in here or multiples of whatever you wanted. Um, so that is an option. This guy is just kind of to drag logs around. So if you honestly just wanted to drag them to a different location or you're moving them around, or if you wanted to drag them all the way to the lumber mill, you could use this tool right here. And I'll show you that in the store. So if we hop in, nope, not this guy. If we hop into this tractor here, V lowers this guy down. Again, you can move it around, close it, extend it up and down, in, out, all that different stuff. So it just kind of drags logs around and moves them around. Um, this is probably the best way, and you can do this with front loaders and all sorts of different things, is to use an actual log fork like this. This is the one that's in game. So again, this runs like a, a just a front loader would, open, close. This is a pretty good way to pick up logs. This is the way I recommend. I'm not gonna show you all the different ways to pick up logs by picking them all up with this equipment here. Um, just because there's so many different options. So you just kind of have to use your imagination, decide what you want to do. And if you wanted to, you could use this as a small log trailer and just not use the crane. So just think outside the box and then you could load it with a front loader or other attachments. So um, there's a lot of stuff here. So let's jump into the store and take a look at some of the stuff and where you're going to find it. So if we go into forestry machines first under vehicles, you actually also have this option, which is like a truck version that also has a crane on the back, or you could just load it again as a truck. This is what I have out right now. And again, these are very expensive pieces of equipment. There's the Buffalo, which is another option. So you have several options here. And that is basically all you have for at least non-modded versions. There's tons of modded versions. I will also note too, there is a mod in the mod hub for an auto load log trailer. So where you just cut down the logs and you pull up next to them and it automatically just, they just jump into the trailer for you. So if you're interested in that, making it that much easier, there is a mod available. I'm not sure what, if it's for all platforms or just for PC players though. So you have to go check that out. Um, if we go over here to tools, back into forestry equipment, here is that kind of deal that just kind of drags them along the ground. Um, if we go further back here, we have that trailer that's on the back of the semi truck. And we also have this guy, which is the trailer, the small trailer I had out for you that I showed you. And there's lots of small logging trailers or small trailers to haul logs around without like a crane on them that are cheaper and different options in the mod hub. The mod hub is where you should go. You should definitely check it out. I just, that's, I can't talk about mods in here because there's just not enough time to cover them all. Um, another thing to note, you can hook up the semi truck version of the log trailer with a dolly and then tow it around with a tractor. So just be aware of that as well. Um, oh, one more thing in here. So you have, uh, you could use a wheel loader, which is what I have out. These are part of the Platinum expansion. This is the only one that's in game. If you go over here, you can also use a front loader. You can also use a skid steer loader. You can also use a telehandler. There's different attachments for all of those. Or you could get a tractor, and then you could purchase a front loader attachment for it. And if you have that, then you come over here. You get one of these for the tractor that has the ability to hook up to a front loader. Then they have, where we got it in here, log fork right there. That's what's designed for sometimes it's easier to use the silage fork these times kind of get in the way but i know a lot of people that prefer this they can get a hold of a log a little bit easier so just think about that try out what you want to do um, under wheel loaders this guy works um 
and that's all you have available for wheel loaders. There's a lot more options if you download the CSZ pack. I recommend downloading that because it gives you just so many more options. And I know I'm throwing a ton of information at you, but you could watch this video multiple times to kind of soak it all in. But um, yeah, so there's just so many options, different mods that I want to mention that I recommend. And I'm not even a forestry person and I know about these mods. But going to skid steer loaders, again, you have a manure fork you could use or you should have... Um, brush and log fork here. So this guy's designed to pick up logs. And then you actually in here too, I'll mention you have a couple of cutters in here. These are designed to actually harvest logs. The stump grinder we'll talk about in a little bit um, in a different stage. So that's another option under telehandlers. You have a log fork here. Um, and I thought you had a silage, yeah, you do, manure fork. So manure fork there for it. You could also use that if that works. Sometimes using a telehandler is kind of nice because you can actually lift the logs up high enough to they usually get them in the trailer a little bit easier. Um, and again, there's way easier ways to do it. If you watch my logging endeavors on no man's land, you'll see different ways. There's tons of YouTubers out there that are doing logging that have different ways they like to do it. So that is all of the equipment for this stage, for stage three, for handling and for um, <laughs> handling and moving and transporting. So stage four is kind of like, an it's just a different option instead of selling the logs as whole. So this is, um wood chipping so there's two wood chippers in game standard there's other options as well um the first one here we have this guy so this guy you have a crane on it you can actually oh i'm in the wrong wrong deal here let me get into this guy yeah so oh maybe you have to run it from in here yes so you get in the tractor cab and you can i've never used this guy actually in game i prefer the other wood chipper but you can run this you can pick up logs off the ground and try to feed them into a wood chipper if we turn on the help screen again it's got the mouse controls at the top to do the different things so there's all that for you if you hit b it turns it on x will fold it back up so in a folded state this thing is looking completely different there's it folding down so there you go um if you hit o it'll bring the pipe in if you hit o it'll put the pipe pipe out there we go it's going out hopefully theoretically I think it's, yep, okay, it's trying. It's tracking a trailer. So this one also has a trailer hitch on the back, so you could drive it around, pick up logs as you go, and it'll wood chip them and put the chips in the back of the trailer here. So that is an option for you. Um, what I prefer to use over here is this wood chipper, which you actually can get in, and you can you can manually drive it backwards and forwards. It's hooked up to a tractor, so I can't do it. Um, but in general, you should be able to deconnect it if you wanted to, so you kind of just can transport it wherever you need it. Hop out. Then I can hit B to turn it on. And then it's not going to run unless you have this turned off. But anyhow, you could get into it after you load logs up. And then we'll feed through the conveyor belt there on the front as you see the conveyor belts moving. It'll wood chip them. This thing, I believe, has a capacity of either three or 5,000. So if your trailer gets full, that's okay. But you can pull a trailer behind it and kind of do it that way. So that is another option. These things are found. And wood chips, by the way, you will never make as much money on wood chips as you would selling the lumber as units but sometimes wood chips people prefer to use because it's just a little bit easier to manage wood chips are not worth a lot of money um, matter of fact we probably can go in here and this one probably has a sell point for them maybe not no it doesn't okay because you have to place a lumber mill since we're on no man's land but no big deal so let's look at this stuff in the store again if you go into tools here or not manure spreaders back over to trailers most trailers will have the wood chip ability down here to haul wood chips almost all of the matter of fact will um so yeah just kind of be aware of that um, even bulk trailers that only hold bulk goods will also hold wood chips so another option as well if we go into sugarcane technology the sugarcane trailers will hold wood chips these things are unique in the sense if you go watch my sugarcane video or how to grow sugarcane which is linked below that will show you how to use those which these things actually tip way high up so you can load them up and then load them into a bigger trailer which is the whole purpose behind those uh, so these wood chippers are going to be found under forestry equipment uh, if we move over to here, this is the one that has the crane attached to it. Again, it's more expensive. That's why I usually prefer this one. This is the Gens. Well, they're both the Gens. This is the Gens BA725D, which is the um, option here, which I showed you. So the final stage, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of tips for wood chipping specifically that I know I said I wouldn't get in too far into the weeds with chips or with tips, <laughs> with wood chips or tips, however you want to look at it. But I want to show you a, an idea that some people do uh, to do wood chipping. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, if we get back over here to this guy, this is a stage five, which is, I would just say, stump removal. So this is the most common stump cutter. 
This guy will just remove stumps, and I'll show you why that's important here in a second. If we go into forestry equipment, here's this guy right here. You also can, um, again, go into skid steer loaders, and there is a stump grinder in here that can attach your skid steer loader. So the purpose of this, if we hop in here, turn on the help menu, you can hit V to lower it down, V to raise it up. In real life, you would lower it down on those supports and use it, but I usually just kind of run it like this. Mouse button moves it up and down, right to the left, or right mouse button will do that, right to left there. We hit B, it'll turn it on. So the purpose for this is these stumps are just kind of stuck there unless you get rid of them. So if you want to do anything with this field again, or you want to uh, grow something or anything like that, you have to come out here and take care of these with a stump cutter. So you just lower it down onto it, and when there's that wood chip animation coming out the back, it's working, and you see the stump is gone. So if you want to do that for this stump here, Let's get over top of it. Oop, back up a little bit. There we go. Sometimes it'll take multiple um, cuts. So like that one's not all the way gone. Lower it back down. And voila, it is gone. So that is the best way or easiest way to deal with wood chips. So I'm gonna get a quick demonstration uh, set up to show you kind of how I like to wood chip if I do wood chip or end up wood chipping. I think the easiest way to do it However, again, it's probably not the most profitable way to do uh, forestry. So I'll show you that in just one second. All right, so here's my setup. I have this wood chipper. I did go into the menu and turn this to off. So that way I could have the wood chipper running while I'm doing this. So I'm in the tree harvester here. I'm gonna open up the help menu so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna change the cut length down to one meter by hitting Y. And I'm going to harvest this tree right here. So lower down, we'll get a little bit closer. All right, so. There's the cut symbol. All right, I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna bring it this way. Should be falling down. Perfect. I'm gonna drive this way a little bit so I can get where I need to go. Um, I think I should be able to get it from there. All right, definitely should be able to get it from there. I'm gonna raise this guy up, move it over. So I'm just above where the wood chipper is, essentially. Get kind of positioned like that. Then I just keep hitting X. It drops one meter lengths in there. So this is a pretty easy way, and it feeds them automatically into the wood chipper, and then it'll go into that trailer that I have stationed behind it. So I'll turn off the help menu so you can see a little bit better for now. Oh, I hit B on accident, so it turned it off and lowered it down. If you do have this issue, um, this is actually good to talk about. I accidentally did that, but I'll hit B to turn it back on. So it is difficult to grab onto it as I can't manipulate this head down to pick that tree up. So what I do, which seems to work at least okay for me, um, there is a, apparently there is a modded one that can manipulate that head down. But if I kind of put a little bit of pressure onto there and kind of oop, see if I can actually do it. If I actually put a little bit of pressure downwards and kind of drift it over, oop, I think you can see what I'm trying to do here probably. Whether or not I'm successful or not just kind of all depends on my luck for the day. But let me turn on the help menu so I know when I'm able to cut it. It does definitely help if you go about this, I think, this way. Get this over the log this way. Move forward. Bring her in. Oop, bring it back up. Bring it down just a little bit. Just a little bit of pressure on there. Lower it down a little bit more as I'm going. Maybe I won't even be able to do it with this one, but um, I was doing it with just fine with the Scorpion King, so sometimes this may not work, but I'm trying to get that essentially force that to go downwards over the top of that um, to be able to pick up that it needs to get that log. Of course, I'm probably not going to be able to do it now that I'm doing a video on it. <laughs> Nope, of course not. Oh, thought we we're gonna have that for a second. We might if I just play it right. Anyhow, if you get a position on the right, you can re-grab it by hitting X again. So this is kind of a setup that I would recommend. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't demonstrate that a little bit better. I think it works more or better on the Scorpion King, I think. At least I didn't have any issues doing it with the Scorpion King, which um, the Scorpion King is gonna be this guy right here, the Ponzi Scorpion King. So that's like the premier version, I guess, of the other ones. But anyhow, so I hope you found this useful in some way, shape, or form, and I hope you learned something. Um, 
feel free to drop me a like down in the description or jeez feel free to drop a comment down uh below if there's a different way you like to do forestry or equipment that you recommend so that people can read those comments and kind of see what you think especially if you're kind of a forestry guru i'm definitely not a forestry guru this is just to kind of help people get started at what they need to kind of experiment with because some people just have no idea where to get started so that was the whole purpose behind this video so i hope it helped in some way shape or form but anyhow if you enjoyed the video please drop a like down below um if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the farmer cop channel but uh, yeah guys this has been farmer cop i hope this was helpful again let me know down in the comments what you think of the video thank you guys for coming and watching